All right. Um, this is my UNL running on VMware system IP. And I just tapped it on the browser. It should give you this. And I'm using the default username and password. I'll do lab eight chapter uh, like yeah lab chapter eight uh, ticket C now. So um I'll read I'll read but uh before I read I'll just open it uh, so that when I'll be reading uh the devices will get ready. All right. So I will do this. Uh, I have my configuration preloaded. You can see I have ESR one ticket C and I have uh both. ALS1, DLS2, so I have uh, all my configuration set to export it. But now I'm just going to wipe and start all nodes. And I'll open up a PDF document. So I'll read um, I will get lab 8.1 ticket C. Step one. Review trouble ticket whatever. Okay. Um, a user on VLAN 120 TB called the help desk this morning because she does not have internet access. When she tried to open a web browser simulated by Loopback One or R2 with address 209.165.200.225/30, she received an error message from the browser saying that it cannot display the web page. She can reach the internal server one without any problem. One of your colleagues was working with the ISP to make some changes to the routing model used to access ISP and the internet. The ISP does not run EHRP on its router. The colleague has called in sick today, but made some notes in the log about ISP not running EHRP on his router and not wanting R2 to attempt to establish a near GRP neighbor relationship. Your task, is, your task is to diagnose and resolve this problem and make sure that user regains connectivity to the internet. So um, you already know that you're working on this and this is our technology which you should be familiar with. I will launch my console to all the devices. And to all the device. All right. So I'll type no. Why am I typing this? I'll type no, and it's just because of this. Uh, the routers. No, and yeah. So I'll wait for this. Cool. So they ready. Password is call. I'm in. All right, so um, you can see that I'm getting some errors, and most of the time when I get this, it's um, related to, you can see if I type show emphasis shrunk, I haven't started troubleshooting yet, but this is a problem. Uh, I don't have anything configured uh, on these interfaces. So what I do, I just go under, I just go under, uh, type interface range Ethernet zero zero to three. I'll make them trunk switch ports mode trunk switch ports trunk. Is it the trunk? It's refuse switch port trunk and calculation dollar one Q and switch port mode trunk. All right. So now I'll check again. Show interfaces trunk. Sorry, I have many things going on now. So, interface is trunk. So now you can see that uh, the interface has become a trunk and I have all these pre-configuration uh, loaded now. If I type uh, this command again, you can see everything is there. Show in a channel summary. Yeah, so we good. So it's up, up. So now I'll start. Um, I'm going to read. Um, no, I read already, so we'll start with the troubleshooting already. So I'll come back on R1 now. Just make sure that everything is correct. 
show IP interface brief and all seem to be fine. Heroes interfaces are up. I have Ethernet which is up, so that's fine. I'll check DSL1 and DSL2 show IP interface brief. And this interface is down, so I'll try to bring it up. But I'm going to type uh, the command here because I suppose I have the same um, states on DSL2 as well. So I'll just type it in. It's not going to hurt anything. So I'll type interface Ethernet 1 slash 0. No shut. And I must make them switch a trunk as well. I'll type, I'm sorry for the abbreviation. Switch port. Trunk encapsulation, do that one too. Switch port mode trunk. Alright. Cool. So now um, everything should be fine. Then we'll start with our troubleshooting. So the problem we have here, they say that users cannot access the web browser which is simulated uh, to R2 Lubeck 1 interface. So we assume that's the internet. So I'll come here, I'll type to IP interface brief, and we can see that we have Lubeck 1 with this IP address. So uh, normally, normally our PCs, uh, like PCs, like our, if I open PCB, it should be able to access it. Let me tell that to PCB. I have VN, VNC session to PCB, so I'll do this. This is the server, and I'll make sure that the server has the correct IP address. Server should be right here. The server's address should be 10.1.100.5 and 100.254. This is uh, as per the topology we have. And if I come down, you can see here it's saying that the server's IP is this and PCB and PCC. If you'll be getting an IP address from DHCP, so I will do this and I'll go on. I have to VNC to PCB and PCC as well. Just make sure they get IP address from close this. Make sure they get an IP address from the HTTP server. Okay, that's fine. I'll wait for that. While we're waiting for that, I can also VNC to this. Show taskbar and change the IP address to the HTTP. All right, so let me, let me check PCB. I'll check PCB now. Okay, PCB is still identifying. So um, what I'm going to do next, I'll just try to find out um, about R2. I think uh, we have, you can see, we have GLDP running i can type gldp show gldp brief so gldp is converged everything is working the only problem we have is uh, from the users side which they should be accessing they should be accessing um the internet and as of now they cannot all right pcb is not getting an ip i'll check uh, pcc and we'll diagnose okay pcc works so on PCB, probably it's a small misconfiguration. I'll check. I'll type show IP interface brief. And you can see that 
it's saying this one is down and this one that's where my pc is connected actually it's saying that interface is down no problem uh, this is what i'm going to do i'll bring up my i'll bring up this and i'll type show run ls1 show run interface ethernet one two that's where i have the configuration case test it so i should get all this configuration and put them on a different interface so i'll type default interface ethernet one slash two and interface uh, interface ethernet one slash three i'll paste the configuration i copied so the configurations are there and yeah so that's fine i'll try to release and renew this time on tcp so i'll open up this command prompt i'll type ip config release there is nothing to release i'm just going to renew renew and this time it should work I'll just wait for, for this because I'm going to test if my browser don't ask me. I'll try to open this browser as per the lab says. So 209, I'm going to 209, 165, 200, 225. So it's 209, 200, 225 while we're waiting for the ip address okay still waiting 209 make it quick Okay, let me just try to push it in the lead. And, and on ALS1, I'll do this. So run interface Ethernet 0. Okay. Did I bring this interface up? I don't even know. Show IP interface three. One three is still down. My work. All right. So I'll type Ethernet one three. No success. Okay. Release and renew again. Control C. There we go. There we go. So now I'm getting an IP address. No IP, no IP yet. Cool. So that's my IP. Um, where is it? I've been getting an IP V6 address. What about IP V4? Still discovering. Yeah, but I'm not gonna waste uh, more time on this. So I will go on. Uh, two, just make sure of, um, they say that I shouldn't be forming an adjacency out of this router. So I'll check because this is simulating the ISP router. I'll type to IP protocol. So we're running um, EIGRP named mode. So we have EIGRP. And we are the interfaces which uh, we're using to route to send the traffic to EHRP. So um, I have what do I have here? I'll type to IP route, and on this side, you can see that I also have uh, routes which I'm learning to EHRP. That's fine. 
Yeah, but uh, our problem is this loop back here, which is on R2. This loop back here, which uh, we they're saying we, we, we can access uh, the web browser from. I'm still not getting an IP read. This is weird now. IP config. Okay, I'm not going. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Instead of uh, trying to browse, I'll just think until. Okay, there we go. It's ready. So now I'll try and as per the lab description, this should time out, and that's what I'm expecting to see. It should time out so PCB. So, as you can see, there is nothing which is happening. So, what I will do next is I'll try to find if DSL1 can reach that address, and that address is so I'll highlight this and go on DSL1, ping it. I cannot ping it, but I do know that I have EHVIP running. And if I check, if I check on my table, let me get the subnet of this. I'll type to run, to run interface loopback one. And if I check this specific entry on R1 first, if I type to IP routes, this is saying the route is not on the table. If I go on DSL1, I do the same show IP routes. The route is not on the table. So it means that uh, this route hasn't, has not been advertised on the EHRP process. So what we should do next is this. As we know that the route is not being advertised, how does how is R1 and the rest of the devices should know about that route? So let's go and check what we have. So show IP routes. So with show IP routes, I can see that um, I have a default route saying that for, um, and the default route is saying for any routes which you don't know of, you must send the traffic to look back one. So, and that's what I'm seeing there. All right, so loopback one, which is, has this IP address, as you can see, uh, loopback one has this IP address. So what we'll do next is we must check if this route is being redistributed. Why? Because this is a static route, which has been uh, a default route, which has been configured on this um, route. Eh? But if it's not being redistributed, then there is no way for the rest of the devices to know about it unless it is either advertised or redistributed. So I'll come here, I'll check again. We checked already on the routing table. We don't have any entry about this. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'll check uh, EHRP configuration. I'll type to run section EHRP. And this is, I'm focusing on IPv4. On IPv6 side, yeah, you should know what uh, to do. So on IPv4, uh, I can see that this, this is passive and I'm routing for only this network. So this is one of the reasons why I cannot switch it. Because if I just say here that uh, network 000, then all the routes are going to be advertised. But now we're just advertising for this specific route. And I'm checking here, we not we don't have route redistribution in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to redistribute that default route. So I'll come here and rather EGRP HQ address family IPv4, I'll say um, under topology, this must be under topology base. 
I'll say redistribute. We're going to redistribute static. And that's the static route which we're trying to redistribute. And I'll come on R1 now. Type show IP route. Yeah, so now you can see that I'm learning about an external PHRP route. And you can check the admin distance. So now should now settle the problem which we had earlier on. But if I check now on this, let me type show IP route here. So you can see that I'm receiving a default route as well from DSL2 now. And you can see it also type external. So now I'll try to ping that loop back again from DSL1. It's 209. 165 200 and now you can see that i can reach it so let me try now to open the browser there we go so you can see now i can open my browser and it's prompting me with uh, the username and password there we go i'm in so that's how you should go about solving um, this uh, ticket trouble ticket thank you for watching